there, I'm Elisa and welcome to First Fuzz. So today's tip is going to be one of my favorite tips. I've been using this tip for a very long time, especially when I work on brides because when you're a bride, you have like a really special day and you don't have time to put on your lipstick. You want something that's long lasting and you want something that'll go through kisses and hugs, tears and joy and lots of photos. So I always recommend a long wearing lipstick and sometimes when you wear a long wearing lipstick, it can just get a little dull because all the colors are really just like mauves and browns and roses and reds. So today I'm going to show you how to spice it up and create a little bit of oomph, a little bit of a sexiness to your palette. So I really love watching editorials or just watching and looking at like images where you see like a beautiful red lip and just like a little bit of gold on the pout and it really just helps pucker up your lips, makes it look really full. But like by the time you get to lunch, it's like gone completely, you know, especially when you try to replicate something like that. It just really sucks. Like I'm not one to sit inside of a restaurant or sit at work or wherever and like, you know, like apply that little pout color in the middle. I just don't do it. I'm like, I'm lucky if I actually match the same color lipstick that I'm wearing in the morning. So today I'm going to show you how to create that sexy pout with that little dual tone color but help it last all day. So the very first thing you're going to need is a long lasting lipstick. A lot of brands make it. So the latest one that I really like is a L'Oreal one. Let me show you here. I have a lot of the colors and I like it because of the packaging and actually the product itself. So what attracted me first was the packaging because you just push it up like this and you get your product and I thought oh my gosh that's so cute and unique. And then there's a little mirror right here which you tend to get like your fingerprints on, but I just think it's really cute. Just kind of cool, something different. Cause I'm really, you know, you get tired of the same old boring packaging, especially like if you're a makeup artist, I think these little cases right here are really great just to stack and you could see the colors as well. So it's just something nice. So I have lots of colors here. I'm going to show you this first one right here is number 2.99, And this is the color that it's really pretty. It's like a rosy mauve and it's frosty. And then the color that I think is like super popular, just so you can see here, is the Beyonce one. And that one's number 399. So this is like intense red. So I'm gonna show you to wear this Beyonce one because it is intense red and then you could put a little gold in the middle. And then this other color that's really pretty for brides or like students or somebody who wants like an everyday office color is this Linda color right here. I really like that one. This is one of my favorites. It's like the same color as my lips, but it just kind of neutralizes and it helps fill in any of the gaps or where my lips aren't that pigmented. So that's the Linda one. This one's like one of my favorites too because it's Diane, because it's orangey. I love it. You guys can see that. I'll do swatches for reals on my site, but I like the Linda one because it's orangey. And then there's this other one right here. This is Kate. This is like a rosy, a deep rose right there. So these are really pigmented and they last a really long time. So today I'm going to be using this Beyonce one because it's super intense red. And I'm going to apply this to my lips. And when you apply products like this, it's best to only apply it in one direction so you get an even amount of color on your lips. You get an even coat and it dries evenly. So we're going to do that right now. So when you apply a red color like this it's, and you're applying it on someone else, it's best to always use a lip brush. But since this is mine, I can apply it directly to my lips. You can use any color that you'd like. I'm going to take my lip brush and I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to apply it to the pout just in the middle, right here, and it's really going to help enhance and it's going to actually help make your lips look fuller. And I'm going to blend that right into that lipstick so it's part of the lipstick so it doesn't go anywhere all day. And then you're going to wait for two minutes because you want to make sure that this lip color dries where it's totally dry and you cannot transfer the color to your hands, to a piece of paper or anything like that. So we're going to wait two minutes and I'll be right back. After two minutes, you're going to put on your clear coat. So what I'm going to do real quick, just so that I know it's ready, is I'm going to kiss this piece of paper. Look, there's absolutely no color. And you know it's ready. You don't have to do this all the time. I'm just showing you like something that's so intense like this. It's still not going to transfer. And I have that little bit of gold on my lip and that's going to stay all day too. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to apply that clear coat. 
And the best thing to do is apply this every so often, every few hours or whenever you feel like your lips are dry. And I like this because it's not like a lip gloss or anything like that. And look, you can't even see any color on there. And that's why I like the feeling because sometimes you have like the lip gloss that's clear and that gets silly a little sticky so sometimes you can't kiss your significant other. And that's why I said that it's perfect for brides because it's not sticky. It's almost like putting chapstick on. I can do this like all day, but enough of that. So there's your tip on how to get that beautiful golden pout. Maybe you have really thin lips and you want a little bit of a fuller lip. Then just apply your nude color and then like a light pearl color in the middle. Mix and match and get really creative. The color that I have on right here is just a little bit of like a dazzling gold. It doesn't have to be super gold. It just has to be a little bit different, a little frosty. Just kind of intensify your lips and bring out that sexy pout. Thanks again for joining me at First Buzz and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.